Hi there, my name is Lori Herniak. I'm the principal at Shimena Secondary School and I'm doing this video because several of the parents at the community consultation sessions have been asking about some programming um, options and some uh, transition questions. So to help with answering some of those questions and reduce some of the anxiety, I thought I'd address them here. Because the decision hasn't been made at this time, I will do my best to address the questions that have been asked in the community consultations. After which time, should the decision be that students will move to Shimano Secondary, I would like to have offer the opportunity for student and parent feedback in the future. So transitions at Shimano Secondary um, will look like they've always looked like in the sense of things, there's three things that we basically do that we would continue doing. Number one, we would have our student, have the elementary students coming to Shimena Secondary um, to experience the day in the life of um, a Shimena Secondary student. Uh, we will have uh, parent open houses um, between now and June, so parents and our communities in both Crofton and Shimena can take a look at our school, meet our staff, and see our facility. And lastly, is having collaborative meetings between the elementary school staff and our staff regarding the students, their needs, um, and uh, have those conversations continue till June. So when we are transitioning students with special needs, we do much of the same process I just explained, but enhanced a little bit in the sense of we would have our school um, LA resource teams, um, our learning support teachers and staff um, come over to the elementary schools and see the students in action, learn from the staff that are supporting those students in Shimanas Elementary and Crofton, and learn what strategies are working well for them, talk to their school team, um, invite the team over to our school to engage in conversations here on our site and bring the students over, um, have them experience as many times as they can what it looks like in our building, what the physical space looks like in our building, where they will spend their time. Um, just similar to um, Shimanus and Croft Elementary, we are a very inclusive school which means students um, are in classrooms, they're learning with all students and staff work collectively to support the needs of all learners. For parents, we would also be inviting them into those conversations, um, inviting them into our school throughout the time prior to September starting, and um, working with the parents to figure out what works best um, for them and their uh, child. So if the students join us in September, classrooms will be clustered together in our second floor. In addition to that, they will be offered opportunities to utilize the areas in our building such as our foods room, our shop spaces, our theater, performance area, our fitness studio, and science labs to name a few. So a day in a life of a student coming into our school would look very similar to what they've experienced in elementary. Um, in an enhanced middle years programming model, which means that it gives an opportunity for kids to be kids a little bit longer, which means that they will be in a class for the entire school year. They will remain with two main academic teachers for the entire year. Typically, one teacher focuses on the math science areas and the other teacher focuses on the humanities, which is the socials and English areas. On top of that, students will have an opportunity to float through a series of exploratories or elective classes over a five to six week cycle. So they will get an experience with things like cooking, um, metal work, woodwork, um, drama, dance, and so on. Again, exploratories happen all year round and the purpose is to give kids an experience for a short period of time so in the future they can make an, a more informed choice of where their passions or interests are. First day of school is reserved for just our new students coming to Shimanas. The focus is on building community, touring the school, meeting new st staff, and uh, building the community between the Shimanas and Crofton students and our Penelican Island students. We have student-led activities hosted by our strong leadership class 
and they spend the day with our students, getting them comfortable with the facility, with the activities, and practicing lockers, um, and just getting a general feel for their school. It's a nice way to start the year. At Shemina Secondary, we pride ourselves on being a safe, caring community. We work really hard for our students to work together as a full school amongst all grades and between all staff. We have a very strong leadership class and peer counseling group that work with students of all ages in activities in and around our school, in our greater community outside of our school, and with each other. At lunchtime, uh, students in our school take part in intramural activities that are supervised by staff as well as club activities. It, we would continue to support students in our school and using successful strategies such as the WITS program that are used at Shimanus and Crofton Elementary. We are a community school and we are a strong, caring, committed community. As I committed to the community at the last community consultation meeting, I promised that I would open the doors to the school and offer you, the parents, and your children an opportunity to come into Shimanus Secondary, meet with myself and my colleague Jen, to provide input and feedback and have an opportunity for you to help co-create what this school will look like.